it's no secret that Crowbar is known to many as the greatest builder in 2B2T history. His builds on 2B2T show what is truly possible in survival Minecraft and inspire both awe and creativity. Thank you to the Spawn Masons and to 2B2T player Turban who made today's video possible. Today, we are able to tour this legendary build as it was the day before it was griefed. So, let's get started. What's going on everybody? It's FitMC and here we are seeing the mother of all keeps the day before it was griefed here on 2B2T. Now I am just completely blown away by this build. Crowbar truly is one of the best builders in 2B2T history. I mean, this build alone just goes to show you what's possible in survival Minecraft. I mean, where do we even begin with this structure? Well, Let's try to find a beginning right here. So I'm in survival mode right now. We are looking at the base the day before it was griefed. So I'm really curious to explore this place on foot just to really give you a sense of scale of how massive this place is. Now we're going around the perimeter right now of like the main level and as you can see down there it goes all the way down to bedrock. So we have a lot to explore today. I truly hope that we can fit all of this into a single video, I really do, but I'm gonna try. So let's go up this uh, little spiral staircase here in like the, uh, one of the towers. How far up does it go? Well, actually, let's just see where we're at right now. Okay, so we've gone up a level, but I wanna get to the main part of the tower. How would I go about doing that? Is there a way to even get there from this section? I don't know. But let's at least climb to the top here before we head back down. There's just like endless staircases going up and up and up. Man, if you... F Imagine finding this place on 2 b 2 on accident, like stumbling upon this. What would you even think? You know? But let's see. I don't know if... Okay, let's see. Those guard towers there look like they're the uh, easiest way to get up. Because, yeah, I want to get up there. I want to get in those little towers up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to walk around a little bit, but that's all right. The view from up here, like even out there, look at that, he made little towers out of the ocean. But yeah, my, you might hear my computer fans running right now. There are just so many blocks in this build. My computer's working overtime right now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we gotta get to that main part of the tower. So just give me a second. I'm gonna try to find a way without dying. <laughs> Oh, it's on peaceful, so I won't take fall damage. That's good. All right, yeah, so it looks like we can get up this way. At least I thought. Yeah, here we go. When in doubt, look around for a ladder. Yep, and it keeps going up and up and up. Man, the fact that Crowbar placed all this by hand is crazy. Well, you're going to hear me a lot during this base tour just be in just complete awe. Like, I'm dumbfounded. I don't even know what to say. You know, I have not always been a very good builder. I kind of specialize in, like, smaller builds. Something of this magnitude. It just... I can't even comprehend how you would build this. I don't even want to think about how many hours it took to build this. Let's see if we can speed along here. Ooh, a skeleton. But it's... It's, it's peaceful, right? Yeah, you can't hurt me. That's right. Oh, you're only going to hurt yourself there, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> okay, here's the main section of the tower. Now, how do we get up is the question. There's some ladders here, but they look incomplete. So I really don't know how we're going to get up. I mean, we could just use free cam, I guess. All right, so... Wow. Like, every part of this main tower has so much detail put into it. Look at this, like a banner. Oh, hey, look! Huh, that banner's familiar, isn't it? But wow, look at all these banners up here. So this must have been the banner room. I recognize a lot of these. Yeah, look at this is the Spawn Mason banner. Wow. <laughs> Team Pepsi, nice. Oh, man. 
Let's go up another level. Oh my god, there's even a library here with like fireplaces and chandeliers. Look at this. Let me just go cinematic here for a second. Look at all of this detail put in. My god. Let's go up another level. I mean, it just... Look at... Oh, and there's a garden up here too? With like picnic tables and like... Oh my god, man. And up here at the very tip top, look at this, there's like hedges, even more in here. Look, I mean, just the amount of detail put in, I just can't believe it. And this cool structure at the top with like the water and the lava, oh my god. Well, at least now we can explore the bottom section without any trouble. So let me go ahead, disable cinematic camera. Let's just hop down and see what we find. I don't know, should we jump from here? Yep, alley -oop. Once again, yeah, here's the main section of the tower. Let's do a little hop and a skip over this way. Yeah, let's go down to like that level where the benches are down there. Let's just jump. Let's see. There we go. Look at this. So much detail put in. And these like little shops? Yeah, look at that. He even added all these little shops. That's crazy. And oh man, they got like the little beds. All the little detail put in is crazy. Man. Like I said, I've been a nomad on 2B2T for the longest time. I haven't built anything in years just because I know the inevitable. Anything you build on 2B2T is going to get griefed. I mean, it's gonna happen. But I respect the hell out of anyone that builds like this. I really do. Let's go down even farther. Oh, yeah, like even down here at bedrock level, planting all these trees and these gardens. This is just crazy. Oh, wait a minute, what's in here? Is this like the item storage room? Oh, yep. Sure enough, this must be where a lot of the items were held. This is where Crowbar did a lot of his storage. Okay. Oh, they even got chorus fruit growing down here. You never want to be on 2B2T without chorus fruit. But anyway, let's look around here. Yeah, there's just so much more to see down here. Um, it looks like there's... Yeah, look at these tunnels. And mind you, this is bedrock level. We're at like Y level 7 right now. In fact, I bet you we can see some bedrock if we look hard enough. And oh man, it just goes deeper and deeper. This truly is the mother of all keeps. For real. This is crazy. Yeah, looking around, I mean... Look at all this vegetation down here with the vines growing with all the different tree varieties, the flowers, even got podzo there, mushrooms growing. Oh, look at this staircase. How far up does this go? Let's find out. Yeah, a lot of times you don't see a whole lot of uh, diagonal staircases like this, but they can look very nice when done properly, and Crowbar definitely did a good job with this one. Oh wow, so this goes just right up to sea level. Wow. Oh, and we're actually away from the main keep right now. Look at that, so that's what these little islands are. These are where the staircases lead out from the bedrock. Dear Lord, I mean, you know, what, what do I even say at this point that hasn't been said already, you know? Like this, I'm taking screenshots. This is just... I... I don't know what to say. This, quite honestly, might be the best build I've ever seen on 2B2T. And I know every time I tour like a magnificent base I say that, but I this might be hands down the best base on 2B2T I've ever seen. The amount of detail, just all the little architecture here and there. Like, just the amount of love and care put into this thing. I mean, Crowbar is in a league of his own for builds. I, I just... What do I say? 
I built Fitlantis. I built a meme base compared to this. This this is just I'm done. I'm not I'm not even gonna speak anymore. So what else can I say? Crowbar man, good on ya. Alright, but let's see if there's anything else down here at the bedrock level. A little hop and a skip. I think we've pretty much covered at least all the main areas of the base. I, I, oh, creepers. Yeah, I could see the lighting being an issue, but then again, on 2E2T, mobs do not spawn a whole lot, so it's really not that big of a deal on the actual server itself. But, for those of you that uh, may have missed it at the start of the video, this base was griefed during the whole museum ordeal when Be uh, Beardler leaked a bunch of coordinates. And it's, it's sad to see a base like this go, but it's inevitable on 2B2T. I mean, if you build something, it's going to get griefed. doesn't matter whether it's a magnificent base like this or if it's just a farm near 0, zero. Everything gets decayed and destroyed with time. But anyway, I'm glad I could do like another fresh base tour. I mean, I love touring bases, especially seeing what they were like before the ruins, you know, before the griefs. Any of you watching right now, please, if you go visit the ruins of the Mother of All Keeps, please send me screenshots on Twitter or Instagram. I mean, I want to see what this place looks like now. Because, yes, the builds themselves are beautiful, but the ruins are just as beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So, if you happen to go, I'll put the coordinates on screen right now. If you happen to go to this place on the server, please let me know what the ruins look like. But anyway, that's it for today's base tour of the Mother of All Keeps. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed just touring it. And I mean, I haven't even really covered every little detail in this build. It just blows my mind. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe if you want more 2B2T history and base tours. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are both in the description of the stream. I'm sorry, the video. I'm so used to doing these base tours on stream. I <laughs> but anyway, that's it for today, everyone. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time. That's right, here on the old...